South Africa. A second man dies of impox in South Africa. The South African Health Authorities announced that a second patient died from impox on Wednesday, June 12, 2024, less than 24 hours after the government reported the first death from the virus. As reported by SA News, the 38-year-old male patient presented at a hospital in KwaZulu-Natal with, quote, extensive lesions, swollen lymph nodes, headache, fatigue, oral ulcers, muscle pain, and a sore throat, unquote. He had been living with HIV, and his listed address was in Gauteng province. As mentioned by The Independent, the first patient to die of impox was a 37-year-old man, also from Gauteng province. A total of six South Africans have been diagnosed with impox, four in KwaZulu-Natal, and two in Gauteng. This is the first outbreak of impox in South Africa since 2022, when it was first detected in Europe, North America, and elsewhere, and the World Health Organization declared it a global emergency, which lasted 10 months. Of the six cases currently in South Africa, all affect males between the ages of 30 and 39. According to AP, some of the six patients had multiple partners, including men and women. As stated by the BBC, all six patients also had pre-existing immunodeficiencies and contracted impox in early May. Of the four surviving patients, two have been allowed to go home while the other two remain in the hospital. Previously known as monkeypox, mpox was discovered by Danish researchers in a colony of monkeys in 1958 and was first recorded in humans in what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo in 1970. Mpox is a rare disease and is part of the same family of viruses as smallpox. Mpox usually affects rodents and non-human primates like monkeys, but can also occur in people. Mpox spreads through close contact, and although most cases are mild, it can cause death. Mpox did not spread easily among humans until 2022, when it spread mainly through sexual contact by gay and bisexual men outside of Africa.